Hotiga, one of the newer anti-seizure medications, otherwise known as ritagabine or ezagabine in the United States, is a new potassium channel opening medication. So it's a new type of mechanism that we haven't seen in anti-seizure medications that helps to stabilize the neurons and not make them as excitable. It's an interesting medication. It's been used in Europe. Uh, the first trials were done in Europe and it was just introduced to the United States. People are finding that the biggest side effects are some somnolence or sleepiness, some sedation, there can be some urinary retention issues, and what the European people have told us is that if we go slowly on increasing the dose, there's fewer of the side effects. The urinary retention issues have created a black box warning here in the United States. So it's important that if you're not urinating enough on the medication that you discuss it with your doctors and caretakers, you monitor the patient very closely. Um, and it's something that seems to be very easily correctable and by decreasing the drug, this side effect goes away. But the sleepiness is a problem. What we found is going very slowly, small doses increases, really seems to get that problem under control while the patient's sort of getting used to the drug. So the, the efficacy is good, but the problems are the, are the side effects. So as long as we go slow and increase it slowly, fewer side effects. So Potiga indicated for partial complex seizures, seizures start one area of the brain. Good medication, works in a different mechanism than we've seen before. What's going to be used for those difficult to control and tractable epilepsy patients, so it's not going to be first line, and major side effects, somnolence, and urinary retention.